this shirt has worn all along the edges here and here. So I was trying to figure out a way to fix it. I actually started taking the collar off. Um, so I'm just going to continue taking that collar off. So again, it was just um, a little bit of seam ripping out. And what I'm trying to do is get past the shoulder seams because um, the area that I want to work with is the shoulders. And so the goal that I'm doing is I'm going to take out this seam all the way down to about here on both sides. And I'm going to actually go out and make like a placket for it. So now I'm starting on, so I got the shoulder seam out and I'm starting down on the arm, the back of the arm. So as you can see on this side, cut about, you know, five inches down, maybe that's five inches. Um, yeah, because my worn spot is not more than five inches down. So I'm happy with going down just that amount. I'm taking out just that amount. Should be about five inches down on both sides. So there is the part that I'm basically replacing. So I found that I had this lace and I found a couple of shirts that have like a lace back panel um, or side panels. And I thought, oh, that would be super cute for this shirt to replace it with some lace because I am obviously not going to find um the fabric that i the shirt is made out of like i don't have any more of that fabric so i was looking for creative solutions so as i'm doing ju this just think of any shirt that you have with a yoke okay as i'm i'm looking for a non-stained piece of lace but um look for any piece of um material that you might like to use for your project and be creative. You know, once you are altering and repairing, you can really make it um, look however you want. So this was not cut. Um, this is cut on a curve. So I need to cut it on the straight because I am not on the curve anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut that out to get it. Um, So here is this piece, um, and this is the piece that I cut out of the lace. So I know that on this part, I'm going to actually top stitch it because it is just easier than trying to, um, Then trying to separate that out. So I'm going to get some pins and place it here, knowing that I'm going to top stitch it there. So I folded it under 
I folded my raw edge under like this. Um, now you could say iron that down to make it like a precise, a precise line. Now, I want to trim the lace down to the size of the shirt, like this. And I was actually debating about whether to um, trim away the underneath, but I kind of like this look of the lace over top of it. And because this is um, a long sleeve shirt, I'm not sure that I want an open lace back right here just for warmth. So I think that I'm going to leave it this way and just stitch it actually over top. And then put the shirt back together. So it's almost like this is just going to be like an applique over the top. Here I am at the sewing machine. And I'm literally just going to sew around the perimeter of this, um, what you would call the shirt yoke. So this is the bottom part. And then rather than turn the corner here, which would mean that my fabric would be on um, the inside, the right side, I choose to go back and um, put the put it back on the machine here. The reason for that is I always prefer to have the majority of my fabric on the left side, not bound up in here. So now I'm just going to go around the outer edge of the shirt. So um, as you're doing it, I always remember that the goal with um, most of the time is to take everything apart and put it back together the same way. So as I take it off the machine, reminded that we first removed it from the arm seam and then from the shoulder seam. So we're actually just going to go right ahead and replace it with the arm seam right here. So stitch that right back together. And the shoulder seam here. I'm actually going to do the shoulder seam first because when you're constructing a shirt, you do the shoulder seams and then the arm. And so knowing that helps me determine actually what seams to do first. So I'm going to do those seams and come over here and 
through the shoulder seam on this side to turn everything inside out which is one reason why um, you're doing some pattern sewing can be really helpful for your knowledge of alterations uh, just knowing what to do first what seams go together helps understand the construction of fabric stitching the shoulders And then here is the sleeve where it connects to the sleeve. I'm going to stitch that back together. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So I have both of the arms in and you can begin to see what it's going to look like on the back of the shirt, which I just love it. Mm. So this part is not more complicated, but just a tiny, tiny bit more challenging. So here's the yoke. So this actually has to go in between the two layers as you put it into the collar. So um, just pinning that in. Like that. And then I'm just going to set it down on the machine. And it's all sewn right back together. Thank you for watching. You can shop tutorials and classes on my website, naomifeda.net. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, may God sow his love into your heart today.